And? So much death in one place tore the veil into the beyond. The Shemlin know the beyond as the Fade, the place of dreams and spirits. When the veil is torn, spirits pass into our world freely. The legends say that one great spirit possessed the wolf that became Witherfang, who passed its curse of rage onto men and created werewolves. I mean, where are... Does Witherfang still exist today? So Zathrian insists. He says that Witherfang does not age as the werewolves do. Witherfang is as much spirit as it is beast, and thus it is immortal. Perhaps it cannot even be slain. At the very least, it is old and powerful, much as Zathrian himself. So there are many spirits in the forest? The forest is said to be haunted. Spirits possess the trees, the wolves, even the bodies of the dead. They yearn for true life, you see. And there were many battles in the forest? Who can say what value the Imperium placed on this land? And how many elves died here? In slavery. Even the barbarians who came to overthrow the Imperium fought and died on this soil. That's all I wanted to know. One last warning. The forest is like a thing alive. It changes as it wills, closing paths behind you and opening up new ones. Too many have become lost within, unable to find their way out. Were I you, I would endeavor not to make the forest my enemy. Darth Shirol. All right, well, that was an interesting-ish conversation, I will say. Turning into werewolves, huh? Walking on the wild side. <laughs> My mother was Dalish. They are a proud people, those who refused to bow to defeat. At least they have chosen freedom over subjugation. Better hardship and danger than slavery. True. See what's in the chest. Nope, oh, damn it. Pile of sacks. Ooh, another love letter. Now for her. The Dalish call them their guides. They even lead an elf to oblivion when he dies, or so they claim. Oh. What is that smell? Oh, must we muck about in the animal pens now? <laughs> <laughs> it's them antler beasts, I swear. <laughs> Damn, you're disgusting. Even by my standards, that's... Uh. Ogre needs to lay off the ale. There being another quest. I seem to have forgotten where. Where it is obtained. Oh, she's named. Let's speak to her. I'm Darren Atishan, outsider. Who are you? I am Gaina. Is there something you need from me? Um. Answer questions? I'm not sure what I can tell you, but I shall try. Uh yeah, nothing really. Then may the creators bring you fortune. Sure thing. Hunter I swear that there's a quest involving her. I forgot who gives it to me though. Maybe I'm imagining things. And I'm thinking like maybe Dragon Age two or Awakening or something. Anyway. Uh, Kamen. Yeah, that's his name. Uh, hello? Uh, where are you? Hello? I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. Uh, why can't you? I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. Try me. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. 
I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Girl problems, I see. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt, and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. Yeah, there must be some way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. Uh, perhaps I could talk to her for you. I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. That can be pretty persuasive. Really? I, I'm willing to try anything. I'll go talk to her now. Siranas, oh ma Siranas, I will pray to the goddess of love that you are successful. Now the reason why I do these kind of minuscule quests and whatnot is because you do gain experience from all of them. That's why I do them. Yes. Cameron told me to. Cameron told me about you. You spoke to him. What did he say? He says that you refused to give him your hand. Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Cameron. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried. Something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? If you love him, it doesn't matter. But what if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? If you love him, then believe in him and help him succeed. Oh, you are right. I have made poor Cameron miserable. No wonder he cannot complete his hunt. Masiranas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Kamen. Kamen, I have been a fool. Gina? What, what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable, and I should not have. But what about my hunt? Oh, I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunt in time, and we will be happy. Us and our children. Thank you, Gaina. You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. We are both very grateful for the part you've played in bringing us together. How marvelous you are. I am so happy. Does anyone else feel the urge to vomit? <laughs> no? Tis just me? No, I'm right there with you, babe. <laughs> Here, take this. It's been in my family for a very long time, but I hope it plays some part in your battle against the dark spawn. It's the very least we could do. I fucking love Ogren. Uh, I don't know why that was as funny as it was. But oh man, I love Ogren. I think it's just the way he said that he agreed rather than uh, him actually agreeing. Right. Uh, I have tears from laughing. Oh. That or my contacts are bothering me. Probably my contacts. Alright, well, let's be off now. And go kill some werewolves. Apparently now I gotta play the role of Van Helsing, the Grey Warden. Here I thought I had left the wilds behind for good. <laughs> I'm more of a city elf myself. A forest like this just seems so very filthy. <laughs> uh, uh, all this greenery is making me sick. More elf roots. Wolves of Isengard. Oh shit, a werewolf. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. One again, need your help. Oh 
Oh, monster kill. Blight Wolf. Which means there might be Darkspawn about. Keyword being might. Oh, firing point. Here we are. Right. You've made some important enemies with your little arrows. You're through. Hey, who the hell are you? Enemies Oh, lovely. On it. It appears the messengers was not expected to survive the message, but you defeated the ambush and these associates know it is safe to move. Return to the nod noble and dinnerim blah whatever. Skeleton. This area's not very big. Oh, this is the way back. I was gonna say, holy crap, this area's not big at all. Yep, more werewolves. Oh, they can talk. The Watch Wolves have spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. The daily send a human of all things to repay us for our attack, to put us in our place. What bitter irony. <sighs> and who are you supposed to be? You speak to Swift Runner. I lead my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. Tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. Uh, I would prefer to talk to you. I mean, you no harm. Was it not Safrian who sent you? <sighs> he wishes only our destruction. Never to talk. You talk of Zathrian as if you knew him. <sighs> we have never met he and I. He would not survive the experience. I swear it. Uh, why do you hate him so much? You know nothing, do you? Nothing of us, and even less of those you serve. You are a fool, and we are done talking. Run from the forest while you can. Run to the Dalish, and tell them they are doomed. Well, I mean, I can't really know what's going on unless you tell me. Intimidate. I'm not going anywhere, punk. Very well. I will not risk throwing my people at you like unthinking brutes. Come, brothers and sisters. Let us retreat. The forest has eyes of its own, and it will deal with intruders as it always has. Ah, but I am different. And just is grace. Oh yeah, that's right. We already gave that to Liliana. But I'll take it just in case I do something she doesn't approve of. A corpse. 
This should be easy enough. Hmm. Red dots. Of course, I'll need to head back to wherever I met what's his face. Just over here. Oh, so much for what he said earlier. Corpse. It's like a Templar. Oh, hello there. Who, uh, who comes? Uh, I'm a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? Here? But, uh, uh, we were sent to find Witherfang, bring his heart, attack. I. All right, let's take him back. And Darren Atishan, Grey Warden. Our scouts saw you approaching and tell me you carry the body of one of our hunters with you. Ah, Dagon. He is wounded, but I think he will live. Ma Siranas, your help is appreciated. Come, Lethaline, let us take Dagon to the Keeper, and quickly. If we are lucky, we may still save him. Okay, got that problem solved. Unfortunately, it does put you back exactly where you started at the beginning, but no, oh well. Woo, red dot. Must have missed you. Holy crap, it's a bear! Of root on it. Oh, an ogre. Have at me, ogre. No bueno, no bueno. And your turn. Take all. Let's get started. As you wish. Mystical sight of power. That ain't good. Okay, nothing happened. Fair enough, I guess. Grand Oak.
Ew, what the piss? Alright. Alright, now we gotta fight tree people. It's wonderful. That leads to the other side. Yeah, more of them. Actually, I might want to get this and exchange it for that. At least for now. Another one. Apparently that Sylvan had money on him. Any more trees want to fight? This should be easy enough. Up oh, here's one. What about you, Mr. Grand Oak? Hmm. What manner of beast be thee? That comes before this elder tree. You're not going to attack me, are you? Ah, thou speakest of the others. How filled they are with hate. I apologize on their behalf. They cannot control their fate. Allow me a moment to welcome thee. I am called the Grand Oak. Sometimes the elder tree. Eh, it's a poet tree. A poetry. <laughs> Don't you get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it rhymes? Tis a rhyming tree. One can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here. And unless thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? Uh. Sure. I have but one desire, to solve a matter very dire. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. And you want it back? All I have is my being, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out, yet I shall die if left without. Uh, very well. Go to the east to find this man. I shall await. Do what thou can. Hello? This campsite appears in remarkably intact. The tents and bedrolls are covered with leaves or dry as a whole. Fire pit smokes. It possesses and possesses embers enough to build into a small flame. There are no signs of any inhabitants. How odd. A camp with no campers, complete with fire and warm blankets. Rather inviting, would you not say? 
more suspicious than inviting. You get no hint of danger, though it strikes you as odd that the camp is abandoned. Perhaps searching the camp will give you more clues as to its nature. Let's get started. You examine the bedroll. It looks clean and warm. You feel like you haven't slept in ages. It would be nice to curl up and sleep. I did not realize I was so tired. He should sleep for a while, or... But did I just say that? Uh... We should leave. You look inside the tent and are surprised by how dry and cozy it feels. It is clean but empty. What a pleasant place to rest your head. The elven hunters didn't make this camp. Yet I don't feel very bloody concerned about that. I just want a nap, of all things. Go figure. We need to go. It takes all your strength to step back from the tent. A wave of weariness washes over you, washes through you, despite your best efforts to resist it. You examine the remains of the fire pit. It has been tended for several hours at most. The embers draw you in, almost hypnotizing you. I'm surprised that fire hasn't burned out. I should tend it. Is there a stick about? <sighs> I, I'm tired. We need to get away. Unable to resist its strange siren call, you trudge back to the tents and quickly collapse and drift into a blissful sleep. Ugh. What the piss? Alright, Morgan. Looks like we've fallen for a demon's trap. Awaken the boys. The shade destroyed, the fog seems to lift, the camp that was here is ancient, and the remnants of the shade's victims all lie as if sleeping still. A hungry spirit luring those who pass to their rest and their doom. I might wonder how it learned this trick. No matter, it shall prey on no one else. Interesting. Let's get Landmark tree. Well, apparently I didn't loot this guy. This should be easy enough. that and this area is big despite looking rather small and off to the other side we go A lot of hollows. So, Antiba. Wonderful place. Full of uh, Antibans. Ogren. If you want to bed me, you have only to ask. <laughs> what? Draw your weapon and say that again. <laughs> I jest, my foul smelling friend. You are only slightly less attractive to me than a slime filled pool of swamp water. <laughs> Better be. <laughs> you have my oath. Bloody Antibans. <laughs> yeah, Antiva sounds like this game's equivalent of Spain. Or, or Le 
today is like France and Ferelden is England. Deventer is the Byzant Byzantines, whatever the hell they're called. A rabid werewolf. What's her face? Please help. Listen. I am not the mindless beast I appear to be. Uh, what happened to you? In vain. I am cursed. Turned into this creature. The curse, it. It burns in me. I fled. Into the forest. The werewolves, they took me in, but I had to return. I had to. You are human. I am. I was once an elf, one of the Danish folk. They crashed to know of my clan. Uh, your keeper Zathrian is the one who sent me here. The keeper sent you? Then you seek with a fang. Uh, have you seen him? I have, but. It is not what you think. But there is no time to explain. You must listen. My name is Benaila. My. Husband, <laughs> he is called Athras. Please, you must bring him a message. The staff I will bring it to him. <laughs> Tell him I love him. Tell him <laughs> I am dead, and with the gods, I thank you. Spoke to Athras, he worries about you. I want him to be a peace. He is a good man. Please do not let him suffer thinking of me. Oh, the pain. The curse is fire in my blood. Please hand it for me. Hand it quickly. Very well. Gods. Bless you. Hmm. So it looks like Zathrian was right. She did turn, er, uh, what's his face was right. His wife did turn into a werewolf. On it. What's up with all these flippin' hollas? And they sound like goats. And he's back to the other side of the forest. But she did say it's not what it seems. Wonder what's going on here. Is there something Zathrian left out, or maybe something he doesn't know about? Ah, more bears! I hear heavy footprints. An ogre!
Shut up, damn you. Heal up. Oh, uh, Morgan, need your help. Did it please you? Okay, how the hell did that miss? There we go. That wasn't so bad. Right. All right, let's open the chest. Gravestone, oh, that can't be good. Next video, folks, we're gonna check and see what this gravestone's for. See you all then.